name is Adam Zemrak. Um, I currently play drums with the band Shaman's Harvest. Hi. Uh, I've been with them for about three and a half years. Uh, we just got off a, a nationwide tour. Then we came home to enjoy the holidays with our families and get some hunting in. Heck yeah. <laughs> uh, so when did you get started hunting? How old were you? I was about 12 years old. Uh, that was the first time I sat in a duck blind. Uh, that was with uh, Brian Reed. Um, he used to have a goose pit up by the Mississippi River landing there. And uh, ever since, I, I've been addicted. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Did your family hunt or anything, or was it just uh, through a friend? My, you know, my grandpa Zemanek, he was a big mountain hunter. He hunted a lot of bobcat, and uh, you know, he got into the coyote hunting, and elk, and et cetera. I didn't really get a chance to hunt with him because I was too young by the time he passed away uh, in 92. Um, now, uh, my grandpa Johnson, uh, he lives over in the Stronghurst area. He was a big deer hunter for most of his life, but you know, that, that's the one thing I never got a chance to do when I was a child, uh, is to deer hunt. And I, I would kind of like to get into it, you know? Um, you know, a lot of my friends do a lot of that bow hunt, and I think that's kind of a challenge, and I always like that, you know? Mm -hmm. So that might be something here in the new, next years uh, to look forward to. Right. So it was waterfowling through a, a friend? Yep, Brian. yep. Brian got me into it. He's kind of been like a second dad to me, you yeah. know. Um, and then uh, over the course of the years, he introduced me to you guys. Uh, and Randy Lee's been generous enough to get me down here and uh, get to shoot some ducks. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. Any other guys in Shaman's Harvest Hunt? Yeah, um, actually, uh, my rhythm guitar player, uh, Josh, he uh, does quite a bit of bow hunting himself, and he gets out and gets in the goose pit every now and then. Um, Those guys are from the Jeff City, Missouri area? Yep, down yeah. there in Missouri. And uh, other than that, uh, he's about the only one that does in, any hunting and gets out and does that. Uh, Matt, uh, bass player shamans, uh, his boys all deer hunt. He gets them out and gets them to you know, shoot at the targets and stuff. And actually this last year, uh, they killed their first bucks. So that was kind of neat. We were cool. all out on the road and they called and they're like, Dad, you'll never guess it. <laughs> <laughs> Lo and behold, they got their first deer, so. Awesome. That was kind of cool. Heck yeah. Uh, you ever bump into, oh, straight out over the lake? You ever bump into anybody else out on the tours you've been on that do any hunting? Or any um, outdoorsmen along the way? Yeah. Um, you know, some of uh, the boys from Blackstone Cherry, uh, they're, they're Kentucky boys, so they get out and do some hunting themselves. Yeah. They enjoy it. They're, they're country boys. And, uh, they, I mean, they, they put out some uh, great music, too. Uh, great friends with those guys. Very humble. Yeah. You know, down to earth. Um, other than that, um, that's about it, really. How'd you get started drumming? I started playing drums right about when I was four years old. Uh, I got my first drum set then for Christmas, actually. My dad surprised me. I was like beating on pots and pans, you know, before then. <laughs> I think they got kind of tired of that. <laughs> uh, I mean, I was a kid and actually I uh, was looking for pots and pans and ended up getting uh, mom's uh, flour, put it all over the floor. Thought that was a little bit more interesting than beating on pans at the time. Why? I don't know, but. <laughs> Um, I've been playing for about 27 years. Uh, I kind of went in and out of it for a while. Uh, tried, you know, experimenting with different instruments, but, you know, through the course of the years through high school, uh, you know, concert band, marching band, jazz band, etc., I kind of learned how to read music that way. Uh, but other than that, uh, I started playing in bands, uh, I think eighth grade was my first uh, band that I was in. Um, and, you know, the guys that I was with, uh, we just had it in our heads of, you know, not wanting to play covers. I mean, before then, sure, we, you know, were eager and thought it was cool to play, you know, bands that we looked up to, but we just got it in our heads, like, oh, we need to write our own stuff, you know. So ever since then, it's kind of been an ongoing thing of just creating uh, our own music. And, uh, you know, I've been in probably... 12 to 13 different bands over the course of the time to get me where I'm at now. Um, but 
you know, the road that's got me here is just, uh, just a complete experience that I couldn't even fathom to tell you, you know, <laughs> it's just, uh, <laughs> right. it's unreal. But, um, I actually just to make a long story short, the, the reason why I'm in shamans is, uh, the bass player of the band in Kansas City I was with, Death by Diesel, um, his son, uh, runs the front of house for Shaman's Harvest, and, uh, he's the one that actually discovered me. Um, their drummer actually left them with a few dates left on tour um, and ended up hitting up the guys and s said that they're looking for a drummer and they, the guys thought I would be a great mix and kind of pulled me aside and talked to me about it and you know um, uh, yeah it's a blessing for them to even you know want to consider me you know leaving their band to go to another group first off you know that just doesn't happen very often so um, yeah it, it's been a journey man and uh, you know the course of the few years that I've been touring with shamans now, it's just been unreal. Uh, the experience and, you know, feeling the energy from the crowd and the fans, you know, filling up arenas is just a, a feeling that I can't even explain. Yeah. <laughs>